Hey guys, this is the first part of the series, Check for Beginners. And we are going to start with something simple and that's reading and pronunciation. Now, uh, reading is really simple in Czech because what you need to do is just to remember uh, what sound is related to which letter. And most of the time there's just one sound for one letter. And then if you see a word and you read the, the letters one by one, you basically say the word correctly if you if you remember the sounds obviously so that's what we are going to start with and we are going to start slow we are going to talk about today we're going to talk about three consonants and three vowels let me introduce some vowels a o e a o e now, vowels in Czech have always two forms, and that is short, that's what I've just said, a, o, e, and long. Now, in writing, a long vowel takes this diacritical mark, and, of course, it's pronounced slightly longer. So, you would say, a, short, a, long. O, o, e, e. Good, we have three vowels. Now we need some consonants. The good news is that most consonants in Czech are pronounced the same or very similar way as they are pronounced in English, like k, l, m, n, t, d, and so on. So if we know that, and now we know three vowels, we should be able to read some Czech words. Okay, let's try this. How would you read this word? We know that this is short o, and short a. Can you try? Bota. And it means a shoe. How about this one? That is long a and short a. Can you try to pronounce that? Valka. And it means a war. Now, how about this word? There is short A, and at the end, there is long A. Okay, let's try this one. Mlada. And it means young in its female form of this adjective. And in the last word of this exercise, there is long A and short O. Okay, let's try it. Rano. Rano. And it means morning. Now I am sure that you noticed how I pronounced this first letter. And I pronounced it R. That's because R in Czech is fully pronounced and has a lot of friction in it. Uh, very similar to Scottish R. So it sounds Rano. Also, I am sure that you noticed another interesting fact about Czech pronunciation, and that is where the stress is in the words. In Czech, the stress is always on the first syllable in the word. So, even if there is a long vowel in the middle or at the end of the word, the stressed syllable is always the first one. Let me demonstrate it on a very nice word. In Czech and in English, this word means the same. And in English, you would put stress on, the f uh, on this syllable, w which starts with m. You would say chameleon. Now, in Czech, we know that this is impossible. We have to put the stress on the first syllable. And then we have short a, e, e, o. Together would be l. And uh, we should be able to pronounce that. Now, there is one little catch, and that's the first sound. Because CH together in Czech are always pronounced H. H. So now we know how to read this word, don't we? Let's try it. Chameleon. Chameleon. Easy, yeah? Ah, perfect. 
So, as I said, most consonants have the same pronunciation in Czech and in English. However, there are some exceptions, like, for example, I've just mentioned H, and also R. R would be different. Now, let me include some more consonants that can be slightly different, and that would be, for example, Y. Y is always Y, never different. C. This is always C. Never K, always C. So we have H, R, Y, C. H, R, Y, C. Okay, let me organize this mess a little bit. Great. Now we have enough sounds to play a little game. And that game has very, very simple rules. I will write a word and I'll give you five seconds to read it. And you can also try to guess what the word means. And then I will read it so that you know if you've done a good job. And I will also tell you what the word means. Okay, let's play. Yaro. Yaro. And it means spring, like the season in a year. Chata. Chata. And it's a cottage or a weekend house. Chrapat. Chrapat. And it means to snow. Mayak. Mayak. And it's a lighthouse. Cesta. Cesta. And it means a road. Kamarad. Kamarad. And that's a friend. Lachtan. Lachtan. And that would be a sea lion. Nice. I am sure that you've done a great job and I'm also sure that you remember all the rules that we've talked about today. But let me summarize them for you a little bit before we finish. In Czech, the stress is always on the first syllable in the word. Vowels have two forms, short and long. Consonants are mostly pronounced the same or in a very similar way as in English. Most of the time, there is no change in how a letter is pronounced. Most of the time, there is just one sound for one letter. CH is always pronounced H. R is always pronounced with a lot of friction in it. This is always T. And this is always Y. All right, so this is all for today. That was the first part of the series Check for Beginners. Today we talked about reading and pronunciation and next time we are going to include some more consonants and some more vowels and we will continue to expand the ability to read and understand the Czech language. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.